so we can, I think, go now to um, a brief showcase by SLRBB, um, who is going to show us a bit of CSS magic, as I, as far as I understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So let me just share my screen. Can anybody see that? Yeah, it's right. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is uh, about my image adjustments uh, snippet, uh, which is mostly focused on giving you the ability to mess with your images more than Obsidian currently allows. And it's, it's very inspired by um, Lighthouse image flags snippet. So the only thing is that um, some of the settings for both kind of conflict. So if you have both of them on, it might do some funny stuff with, with your images, but shouldn't it, it shouldn't break anything. It just might conflict and you have things that might not work very well. Uh, so the syntax for um, how to use it is you can use Wikilinks and uh, Markdown. Uh, the only thing with Markdown is that in order for it to actually update and show you uh, the changes that you make, you're going to need to refresh the note. Uh, but uh, with uh, Wikilinks, it's just the uh, image title and then the uh, pipe, the modifier plus modifier. And then at the end is where Obsidian's uh, numbers like slash 300 go. And uh, same thing for the markdown is just where, where uh, you would normally put the image name. So same format and, and that's about it. Uh, so this is one example here where it's image.png pipe left plus pt and then that 200 and that will move the image left uh move the inside of the image to the top and then resize it to 200 and so um you don't really need the plus uh the plus between all the modifiers is pretty much optional you can use brackets uh, underscores pipes or just spaces uh so there's like two versions of this. There's a simplified version and the customized version. The simplified will basically let you um, do a lot of these image changes quicker. So quicker in the sense that like you won't have to fiddle as much. You won't need to add a bunch of other things. It's like just maybe a couple and it should be done. Uh, and it should be far more easy to read too, if, if that's very important. So this is, this is one example, left and put small will resize and then put it to the left. So we have a couple of uh, positions. So there's left, center, and right. And uh, it will move exactly where you want it. The only thing is that with the center, it won't have the text wrap around like left and right will. It's just kind of how, how it is for the way the CSS is written. Uh, for types, uh, we have banner, portrait, profile, and then circle, which kind of goes with profile if, if you want to use it. Uh, the banner is going to set the image width to like the full the full size of the page. So it'll it'll span the entire size of the page, but it will make the height adjustable. Uh, portrait will make it uh, taller than it is wide. And uh, profile will square the image. And uh, the circle is in tandem with the profile. So the circle will round the image once you have it squared. Because if it's not squared, you get a really wide oval. So we have a uh, type sizing. And so uh, the format for it, at least in the uh, simplified version is modifier plus the size. And the plus is necessary for this one. Uh, so banner and portrait both use uh, small and tall as, as their uh, additional modifiers. So it'll, it'll, it'll force the sizing to be smaller for plus small and then much taller for the height for the banner and the portrait. Uh, and profile only uses medium since I, I don't think you're gonna need a portrait that's even bigger than medium. Uh, and one thing to note is that obsidian sizing will not work with this because this, this sets the sizing for it. So it's just not going to register. And yeah, so the customizable version lets you do a couple more 
fine tuning to your images. Uh, so we have positioning types. So loc R and loc L both do the same thing as right and left. Uh, and CTR is how you center images in the center of your uh, page as well. Uh, S ban also does the same thing as banner and cover will allow the image to keep the aspect ratio, which you can see at the bottom two images, the difference between one that does have cover and then one that doesn't. So the image has been pretty warped at the top, whereas the other one, it keeps the sizing the way it should be. Uh, so yeah, so S band is the same as banner. It will do the same thing and look in, uh, look L will also do the same. It's just uh, sometimes this version of right and left will work better than uh, the other, the simplified right and left. So that, that's one thing to keep in mind that I've noticed sometimes with some image adjusting. And so the customize allows you to move the inside of the photo around. Uh, it's not just gonna move the photo to different places on the, on the page. It'll move the inside of the photo once you've like cropped it or, or something with uh, the rest of the sizing. So to see what that looks like, uh, this is an image where we have uh, a couple of things moved around. So a lot of the syntax for that will be PT, PB, PL, PR, and PC, which is just basically position top, bottom, left, right, and center. And it'll, it'll basically do exactly what uh, it says. It'll move, PT will move it to the top, PB will move uh, the image all the way to the bottom, and left and right will move it left and right. And then for some in images, sometimes you might need to center it. So PC will be the one that will center the image for you. Uh, we also have um, precise uh, inner photo movement. So this is, this is more like little increments of uh, the previous one. So it'll move just ever so slightly up or down, whichever one you use. So a lot of uh, the way the syntax works is you do need the pluses for both. And uh, if, if it doesn't move up all the way that you like, it will switch. So from like, if you wanna move a little higher from the center, you put C first. But if you wanna move it higher from the bottom, the 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 B will be more important, and that that makes it'll make more sense when uh, you fiddle around with it. It's just a lot of like uh, testing out, seeing which which one uh, moves the image the way you want better. Uh, with left and right, I didn't have too much uh, specific uh, movement, like the like the top and bottom. Um, if 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 you find that you need more, uh, I can definitely add some more, uh, just as long as maybe you message me on Discord or put it in my uh, ITS repo, then uh, I, can, I can add more if, if you'd like. Um, yeah, so we also have a lot of sizing and this is, this is also on the readme if, uh, if this looks like a lot to memorize. Uh, it, it's pretty much the same as uh, the precise, syntax so like something like ws med is with small medium so it's in between medium and then small but closer to small in sizing as you can see through here and um yeah it just it kind of works that same way for for both of these so with all of this you can resize the image height wise and width wise to whatever you need it to be uh it makes it very easy to create uh, small boxes if you use two of the same or or a, a very specific sized kind of portrait uh, portrait so you can have it at any size as opposed to trying to make like like fiddle with the CSS and make the simple version fit in your page better uh, so this is this is an example of the sizing. So this goes all the way from micro to tall on the page. And yeah, so 
so that's that's almost it's almost all you'll really need the 700 is uh very big so <laughs> i'm not sure i'm not sure what you'd use that for but uh we also have uh a couple extras uh for the inversion uh i took quite a bit of the uh css from the forums uh from somebody who did the auto adaptive images which is basically what this will do it'll it'll when it comes to like lined images it will allow you to have the image line swap colors easily so no matter which mode you're in whether it be dark or light you can still see the image because as you can see in the uh the little example gif here uh the left two of this drawing have not been inverted and so you can see when you flip the colors one of them becomes hard to see when you swap modes but because uh the other two have the inverted colors you can see them perfectly fine in either mode uh the only thing is that you might want to only do this for images that are like black and white because it'll do some funny stuff with the colors on images that do have colors and uh so yeah so the syntax is just invert b for like flipping uh white images uh white lined images and uh I think it might be the other way around actually. Uh let me see. Yeah, it'll it'll be the other way around. Whoop. <laughs> but yeah, so so invert B will be to invert black colors and then uh invert W will be for white colors and then B C and, and W C will be ones that are uh for for colored images. I I can't guarantee that it's gonna work the best, but uh you can try and see if if that'll work. And the last one is just clear. And what clear does, if you add it to uh, your uh, image, it will just, it will make sure that the image is, uh, is put under the other image. So instead of having them like side by side like this, they'll be stacked on top of each other. And yeah, that's, that's about it for the uh, image adjustment snippet. So yeah, I have uh, all of, all of this stuff on the README if you'd like to go back. And I believe this slide is also on the uh, repo under the slides folder. So, yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> nice. So I, I have like a small question, uh, mostly for any new Obsidian user who might mm -hmm. uh, watch this later on YouTube. So this is, uh, we can find this on your ITS uh, theme, right? Yes. It, it, it's also on there, yeah. All right. So uh, then this means for, for people who want to use all these snippets, they can install uh, ITS, but you also um, provided a way to do this as a snippets as well, right? Yeah, I have Yeah, I have the uh, very specific snippets separate from my uh, theme. So you do not need my theme to use this. You can just download the snippet and it will work. It should work for any theme. Nice, very nice. Uh, all right, so if anyone in the audience has uh, questions, you can either write them on the chat, or if you feel comfortable um, asking them with your mic on, then uh, also please uh, go ahead. You can raise your hand or most likely unmute yourself uh, if there are no not many people asking questions at the same time. I, I have a kind of more general question. Um, okay. This I'm I'm going over the the CSS for this um, now and mm -hmm. like using the the pipe is it's like a way to um, add a CSS ID almost to like an image using Markdown. Yeah, basically, uh, with Lighthouse uh, snippet, he had done something pretty clever, which was using the alt of uh, an image, which is like for the alternate text, but in Obsidian, you kind of don't need that. So it'll it'll pick up all of that stuff and it'll apply it to the image. So it was very clever. That was really cool. It, are, there, are there ways to um, like mark down, target other, other things besides images? 
Um, I do have an embed adjustment snippet, which will, which will do pretty much the same as this, but for your embed. So you can resize your embed and uh, move it left or right. And a lot of it has the same syntax. There's just a couple of things that might be different, like to hide links or move the link around or hide titles and hide headings kind of thing. So yeah, th that's the other um, thing that I would think uses the same. Oh, very cool, very cool, thank you. Nice, uh, any other questions from the audience? I think probably not. Um, I don't know, SLRBV, do you want to show us anything else? Maybe like a quick, um, very sneak peek of your readme, maybe something that you might show on a later showcase or something like this, just to tease people uh, about <laughs> what else you have in store for us? Uh, sure, I have, yeah, I have a couple of other things, like um, at least one thing that you can already see that's also being used on this slide was my a side snippet uh, that was very inspired by um, Eleanor's uh, um, repo for her theme that had a side CSS in it. And uh, I just thought that it was something that was gonna be really useful for some people. And so I wanted to see what else that I could do with it because um, I just thought it was gonna be something that was just really useful, especially for me sometimes like right now <laughs> to, to show, you know, a little box inside next to your text instead of, you know, within it and trying to make it work. Um, some other things. Oh, nice. So, so this little note you have here is an aside tag? Yes, I also have. Oh my uh, God, I'm going uh, to steal this after the talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the aside, there's, there's a couple of other uh, options. Like this one is the aside in. So it'll show inside the, the page. And then there's there's some other ones where it'll be like a sideshow, which is, a, it'll be on the edge of, of the page. And then hide will just have it hidden. So it'll just be like a little icon that you can hover and it'll, it'll show the text here. Oh, very nice. Definitely yeah. taking a look after. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. So final chance to get a question in otherwise we can just uh, thank slrbb for the very nice um, snippet demo and um, yeah i think this was pretty pretty nice i found two interesting things that i had not seen um, or not used yet but i'm probably going to steal now <laughs> go ahead Cool. I think it seems uh, there are no more questions, um, which means in this case, then thank you very much both uh, Ross and SLRBB for yeah, presenting and showing us uh, these awesome things you created for um, the Obsidian community and uh, for the very nice explanations. <laughs> thank you. Good. All right, then thank you everyone for joining. Um, make sure to, uh, yeah, Check out later YouTube uh, for the video and see you next time. <laughs>